Hello, this is Cass Baloo, and welcome to more Let's Play Golden Sun. This time around, we are finally going to stop dilly-dallying, and actually investigate some plot stuff. At Babby's Palace. Okay, so spoiler alert, Babby is kind of the ruler of Tolby. Oh, that's interesting. Did you run into... Yes, I did. I guess not. Babby is, like, incredibly, incredibly old. Did I finally find somewhere I can rest? Yes. Yes! This will make the next part a little bit easier. Just a little bit. I didn't think we'd ever find a place to stay. What a relief! Plus also, I think this is necessary anyway, actually. Let's rest up for tomorrow. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Morning. All right, Isaac. We've yet another day of hard work ahead of us. Wow. Coming from Garrett. There's a book entitled The Heart of a the Colossal Warrior. Do your best, do not bet on lucky guess, so the book says. Indeed. Sure? You better leave right away then. The trials are already underway. Go on to the Coliseum. I can't fight because of a little indigestion? That's pathetic. Maybe I can shrug off this pain in my gut. I have to enter Colossal. It's no use! My stomach really hurts! <laughs> Poor guy. On the other hand, maybe it's for the best. Actually, I wonder. Maybe I shouldn't have eaten quite so much yesterday. Maybe. So, Babby seems like a pretty good guy. I mean, he's ho he was hosting Colossal Warriors inside of his palace. So, ooh. It's a shiny. It's a lucky metal. We can take that to the, the fountain. And hopefully we don't get, like, another helmet or something. There's a book entitled, Become a Macho Man in 12 Easy Steps. All these warriors seem to be like weight training. Babby's name is writing on the construction of his lighthouse. It's a huge undertaking, which is why the guard around the lighthouse is so tight. Even if Lord Babby doesn't return, the campaign to build Babby Lighthouse will go on. I won't be able to relax until we know where Babby is. I guess I better go look for him. I mean, I can take a hint game, just... I sort of want to screw around a bit. More. You know, didn't I say at the beginning of this that I would stop screwing around? Whatever. I don't care. I'll screw around as much as I want. Which is quite a... Ooh. Iodem! Iodem! We we went to Altamer Cave as you commanded. And what have you? What news is there of Babby? None whatsoever. Odem, why did you send us looking for Babby in a place like that? 
Why would Lord Bammy enter such a dangerous cave alone? Inconceivable? Is that what we were going to say? No, that seems like a too big a large word, but... Anyway... If Babby went there alone, a monster might have... You are aware of Alt... Alt Miller K's eccentricities, are you not? You knew? Then why would he send us there, Iodem? Lord Babby has left in secret before. You mean, this isn't the first time Lord Babby has disappeared? That's exactly what he means. Do you know where he went before? I follow Lord Babby once. And... I was certain he had gone into the Alt Miller Cave. That is surprisingly hard to pronounce. Or maybe not surprising. What was he doing in the cave? Once he entered the cave, Lord Babby vanished before my very eyes. Vanished? Disappeared? Even. No, no, I don't think that's what he meant. After he entered the mouth of the cave, I followed him. But he had vanished, leaving no trace. Oh, so that actually is what he meant? Wow, this guy. I tried following him several times after that. Each time, he vanished within seconds of entering the cave's mouth. Yes, I believe that's exactly what he is saying. But if he always returned from the cave before, then he should be back soon, right? No, this time something is different. Something puzzles me. What do you mean? It is certainly strange that Lord Babby should go right before Colosso, but there's something else. Lord Babby's bedding was not disturbed this morning. Is that unusual? Last night, Lord Babby did not use his bed. That is the problem. Lord Babby has, in fact, been missing since last night. And that is why I'm so worried. He has never done this before. He's never taken 12 hours off. L last night. This is early morning. That... Well, I guess he is bas he is a ruler, so such a length of disappearance would be unusual for him, but even so... Speak of no such foolishness! I am sure Lord Babby is alive and well somewhere. If you say so. I will go to the Coliseum in Lord Babby's stead. You must find him. We will all conduct another round of searches. Yep. They're incompetent. He's not incompetent so much as clueless. The guards, the guards are incompetent. Anyway... Reveal! Reveal! I guess this is his bed. It's Babby's diary. The Colosso may be my this Colosso may be my last. Oh my! It looks like Lord Babby didn't use his bet. That's what the other guy said. Okay then. Okay then. Is there any more screwing around to do here? Probably. Nothing in there. Nothing here. Ooh, this is a fun room. Originally, there were ancient ruins at the site of Babby's lighthouse. 
There is said to be an extremely long tunnel beneath those runes. Encyclopedia of Ancient Runes. Experts in al experiments in alchemy. The experiment failed again. I have tons of questions for Kraden. Kraden is referenced in a book. I knew that guy was a supervillain. Yeah, that's a great logical leap there. Study on the Venus runes. Many ancient civilizations still sleep in that area, if you say so. It is said that long ago, the power of alchemy was sealed away. But why would it have been sealed? No matter how many times I run the experiment, I never get the results I want. My alchemy skills have weakened! As Kraden warned me they would. Ooh, shiny! We got a nut! Let's use it. Boost defense. Ah, uh, yeah. Mr. No Defense here is the obvious choice. Wait, no, I want to... no. No, I know there isn't anything in the barrel, I just revealed it. Babby makes his scholars perform all sorts of research. I wonder where Babby's favorite scholar, Creighton, is now. Oh, the stories I could tell you. Reveal! Originally, the ancient Venus ruins lay buried under Babby Lighthouse. I see. So, I think you can probably guess. I think you can probably guess what Babby Lighthouse is going to be. But if you can't, I'm not going to tell you. You'll just have to wait and see. Shiva has been staying as Lord Babby's guest for some time. She comes from the town of Lelivero on the Gondawin continent. Shiva was revered as a child of the gods in her hometown, but she looks like an average child to me. Let's find out. Babi is holding me hostage in order to complete his lighthouse in Lalivero. When shall I ever be able to return to my homeland? She has a portrait. That's interesting. Even if I escape Babby Palace, my power could not get me to Lalivero. It would be impossible for me to make it through the deadly Suhala Desert alone. Another desert, you say? Oh? Did you just... Did I just what? No, it is nothing. Huh. That was almost like she realized we were reading her mind. Well, it's probably nothing. Let's just go to the last room. Coliseum Tunnel. Okay. Reveal! Oh, it's locked. Okay. Well, we can't go that way. Clearly. Oh, we're in the stadium. Which we got to from Babby's Palace. Right, well, we can't actually do anything from here. So, let's leave. I will meet you outside. And we're back in town. Now, to stop being around the bush for a second, we are going to want to go and look for Babby in that cave that the guy mentioned. Uh, first, let's do this, though. Uh, save the game. Because I'm willing to take just about anything, but I want to at least get something that is, you know, not total crap. Uh, like, that will probably be total crap. 
I don't think I could have gotten a worse roll. So, yeah, that's a potion. Screw that. So I'm gonna redo this. Uh, you know, actually, to save time, I'm just gonna meet you outside the town. See you in a minute. Behold my prize. Another assassin blade. <laughs> this is kind of stupid. Uh, but you know what? I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it, dude. It's not a bad weapon. I really wish I could remember the, the statistics on this thing, because I'm... I'm really pretty sure that the axe is supposed to be better, but it's not. It's weird. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna actually do with this. I might give it to Garrett, or I might just sell it, or I don't know. I don't know. I'll make up my mind later. What I do know is I want the world map. So the way to the desert is going this way and over here, but we don't actually want to go to the desert. I believe where we want to go, uh, it's either over here, no it's not over there, um, let's see. It was either, it, the cave by, no it wasn't, I think it's over here? Clearly I don't remember very well. Well I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. In a minute. This, yeah this is the, this is the place. Kill the mage! Kill the gnome! Bam! You see, the thing is, I'm pretty sure the axe has a much better unleash. Anyway. We- hey! That reminds me. We're in a cave right now. That means we don't need mind read, and we do want move. Also, as you will recall, Isaac knows how to lift. Ah, uh, oops. Let, let's try that again. That- how embarrassing. There we go. Haha! There's nothing here. This is totally the way out, isn't it? Well, it has a high unleash rate, so that's good. One of these days, Garrett is actually going to have a turn. Oh well. You know. I should probably just cut off here. Honestly, we can do this cave next time. So let's do that. Join me next time when I look for Babby in this cave. So until then, this has been Let's Play Golden Sun with Chaos Blue, and have a good day.